Hi, this is Jolie Tripp, founder of Mind Blowing Wellness. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'll demonstrate the functional evaluation point that assesses the immune system. The COCA pulse test is a test you can do very simply to determine sensitivities and allergies to food anywhere. All you need is a timer, like on your smartphone or the second hand on your watch or a stopwatch. Now remember that these functional evaluation tests are not meant to replace the battery of sophisticated lab tests that can and should be done to assess your health. It's only an additional tool for your use. Now when we think of food allergies, typically we think of the outward reactions of an allergy like a rash, hives, or even anaphylactic shock. True allergies are the reaction to a protein, whereas food sensitivities can be reactions to non-proteins. And food sensitivity symptoms can be all over the map like these. Headaches, migraines, nervousness, dizziness, constipation and diarrhea, canker sores, heartburn, epilepsy, irritability, gastric ulcers, abdominal pain and indigestion, neuralgia, sinusitis, hypertension, asthma, chest pain, diabetes or colitis, hives, and depression. Now these symptoms may develop immediately or may not appear for days after the food is consumed. Chronic sinus drainage, for example, may be caused by a food that you eat all the time. For me, it was eggs. The Coca Pulse test is a simple yet extremely effective way to identify foods to which you may be allergic, intolerant, or sensitive. Quite simply, the way it works is that stress will cause your pulse to increase. Foods to which you're intolerant are stressful and will speed up your pulse. Now here are the steps. Sit down, take a deep breath, and relax. Establish your baseline pulse by counting your heartbeat for one full minute and record, record your pulse. You can take your pulse on your wrist or on your neck, whichever is easier for you. Now some healthcare practitioners will take your pulse for 15 seconds and then multiply by four. Don't do it that way. Now write down your pulse. Put a sample of the food you want to test in your mouth. You can chew it, but refrain from swallowing it. Taste it for approximately 30 seconds. Be sure to test only one food at a time and test an individual ingredient a banana, not multiple ingredients like banana bread. Retake your pulse with the food still in your mouth and then write down that pulse. An increase of six beats or more is considered the result of a stressful reaction. The greater the degree of stressfulness or reactivity, the higher the heart rate will be. Now discard the tested ingredient, but don't swallow it. You can repeat the procedure to test other foods and you can repeat it as frequently as you like, as long as you always return to your normal pulse before testing the next food. If the test food is stressful to the body, you will have a brief reaction that causes your heart to beat faster. For each food that you test, write it down along with the date so that you'll remember what you tested and your results. The good news is that this test can be done anywhere, anytime, like in a restaurant, for example. Now, can food sensitivities and allergies cause emotional issues to flare up? Absolutely. In fact, some of the symptoms of food sensitivities are mood disorders. The Coca Pulse Test is a wonderful tool to assess the root of your moods. Thanks for watching. Be well.